Hi everybody, welcome back. It's me, Leanne. I'm back with a bit of Bible journaling for you. And joining me today is my lovely sister, Joy. Uh, we're creating um, in 2 Peter, and this is us just getting set up. But don't worry, we're going to show you a little bit slower what we've been up to. So we are in the last part of 2 Peter, and we are doing two different tracing techniques today. So you can see um, how you can recreate this um, printable into your Bible. So it, when we are creating tracing um, ideas, I, what I would really suggest you do is cut your image to size as much as possible before you start because it's going to help you place that in the right place. Now I'm using carbon paper so I'm just trimming that down and placing it black side down and then Joy's using this brilliant tiny little light box um, so she can turn the light box on and then use that to um, use some washi tape to stick that into position so that she's ready to trace um, the image behind. So with the carbon paper you just want to get a nice really sharp pencil and you're going to go over the top of your design in very much a similar kind of way to how you would if you were going to be tracing um, with traditional tracing paper. You go over each line but unlike traditional tracing paper you won't end up with an inverted backwards image and um, you won't have to go over it twice. So that's the carbon paper. You'll notice when you set it up there's a black side and a more of a grey side and you always want to put that black side down with your image on top and you'll notice I'm really keeping my hands off the paper as much as possible because any where you press or touch you're going to get more of an imprint and then for Joy she's going straight in with our ink tense watercolour pe pencils which are the medium we're using today you'd use any kind of colouring pencils or watercolour pencils to do a similar kind of thing. She um, is going round each letter um, so that she can then activate those pencils with a with some water a bit later on. So that's what we're up to there. And then with the carbon paper you just have to really knock back those pencil lines. I think I pressed a little bit too hard but um, I've now got to the point where I can go over all those lines with my ink tense pencils. Um, so I've just almost added an extra step by having the carbon paper. The light box means that you can go straight in with your preferred medium. If you use a carbon paper you need to do that with a pencil first and then you go in with your, your colour or paints or whatever you choose to use. And then Joy's going in with some of the details with a Pit Artist pen. No, that's a Micron pen. You can use Pit Artist pens too. Um, and then as we go along, we gradually get to the point where we can stop using any of the tracing and go in with paint brushes and bring these pages really to life and pop off the page. So I'm just colouring in with my water. So because these are water active, activated I can go in with my water over the top of wherever I've put down my colour and I can wake that up and then I'm going to get this really vibrant um, colour that's going to transition from one shade to the other. I was going for a kind of ombre effect I think I got the coloured pencils in slightly the wrong order but I, <laughs> it still works I was happy with how it came out so I, I just went with it. Um, Joy's still adding some of the details here, but when you're creating, just go with what you feel. When you were um, spending time with God preparing to journal, how, how did you feel God was speaking to you? Were there colours in your mind as you were reflecting on the passage? Where, where were you feeling God was really speaking to you? It might be that as you look at this trace image you think, oh yeah, those words do resonate with me, but I really don't need the branches and the foliage. You, you can adapt and change this however you want to use it. You could um, use it as some journaling space, you could draw a completely different image because you've still got a l large area of um, white space space on the page because this is the end of um, a bible book so with my foliage I 
you just trace the branches and not the leaves and then I use those as a basis to to just add some line detailed leaves I didn't use any color and I'm just using a Tomboy Funasinki <laughs> brush pen um, to create some thick and thin lines and then for Joy she went through with the coloured pencils and added extra definition to her leaves later on with the um, watercolour activated ink tense pencils again. So you can see we've both created really different looking pages. There isn't a right or wrong, there's so many ways you can go but hopefully this will just give you a launch pad to take your Bible journey to make your memories um, about this passage in 2 Peter. Have a really great time. God bless.